Hello? Hi. How are you? Oh, here she is. You're looking very hip. Oh, I'm just shooting a YouTube video. I, it's actually the opposite of hip. It's more like um, drip. Well, it's just um, the thing is I uh, I'm such a ball of like weird anxiety and nerves that like when I'm sitting down to do something like shoot a YouTube video. It's just like, I've been talking to myself for 45 minutes. I haven't even done the intro yet. I can't deal with my looking at myself. And then, and then lately, because since I came off my mental health meds, I feel like I've got to wrap my head every day, like a crazy person. You know, people who are like, oh, I got to keep my ideas in my head. All I know is I am compelled to keep my head covered or at least tie a headband around it. A human desire and behavior that goes back thousands of years and it's probably because there are aliens you know what <laughs> i think you're right all i can tell you is like my body is constantly buzzing like it's going and it's like am i okay and you know what i got such a warm response i posted a video last night and i got such a like really warm response um because I hadn't posted for a while, so my last couple of videos basically like nobody watched. Um, and because that happens, because you know, you got to give people something to watch. And then if you're yeah, just sort of creating content constantly, right? Or at least consistently. And uh, anyhow, but I like all these people just like reached out and watched my video that I put on last night. And it's like the first video I shot since I've been. Um, off my mental health meds and well you know the week I've had been at the hospital choked on my own uvula that's something that hasn't happened to me in 20 years last time it happened it was after doing about a thousand dollars worth of cocaine and um, shirking on a debt I owed my mother is shirking a bad word all I know is I didn't make good on the debt and in the morning I was at my friend's house who I'm talking to right now and um, all the cocaine was gone. I wasn't a big coke person. Crystal meth was more my thing. So all the cocaine was gone. And uh, and the realization that like I owed my mom about like, I don't know, the whatever $1,500 we had spent. Um, and you know, the light of dawn can be cruel. And I just went, oh my God, my throat feels so weird. I feel like something weird in my throat. And then I got my friend to look at my throat and she was like, oh my God. <laughs> Call the ambulance. My uvula, the thing in the back of my throat, yeah, I was having like an anaphylaxis or something and I started choking on it. But you can still have that and not choke, but you have to be so mindful and deliberately breathing through your nose and calming down while also um, accepting the experience of your uvula like hydroplaning on your tongue. So I woke up two days ago and I was choking on my uvula. I'm fine now. I've been on steroids for three days and today's my last day of doing them. This is good that you called because I think it's relaxing me. Good. I'm coming down. Um, I haven't made it outside for uh, any of my um, uh, outside business. Okay, I better go because I've got to get this done. Okay, have fun. Okay, bye. Hello? Hello? What's up? Are you well today? Did you get some sleep? Uh, I only slept for a few hours. I'm doing okay right now. Well, um, yeah, I'm calming down. I'm still pretty buzzy and weird, to be honest. I'm just in the middle of shooting a video right now. Yeah, I'll call you when I'm done. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, me. love you, bye. Love you too. Hey, what's up? It's me, it's Richard. I'm back with another video. I've been getting myself organized and going through some samples and things like that. I've gone deep into my fragrance collection right now and I'm just kind of getting it organized and also just thinking of things to do and um, things I want to talk about and share with you folks about fragrances and there was a tag. Uh, whenever I get tagged, it's not very often and it is always by Joss Jane. She's amazing and wonderful. So supportive and wonderful. You know, I was watching, uh, now I'm not here to talk shit about anybody and I won't, but I was watching somebody else, a YouTuber that I watch all the time. 
um, or I used to watch a lot more because um, they just have a lot of fragrances and a lot of niche stuff and you know you can tell there's like a real passion and love for fragrance but um, they had been tagged by someone and they were like yeah I don't know who this tag is by um, I don't watch their videos I don't usually do tags and I don't watch fragrance youtubers and I just thought yeah you know what I don't watch you anymore. All I wanted to say is, is like, it's weird to be a part of something, but then not participate in it. So, you know, uh, yeah. If people didn't watch fragrance videos, then who would watch yours? So why aren't you watching other people's? What I'm here today to do is go over some new Tom Ford fragrances that I recently got. I haven't had like a great luck with Tom Ford. Um, really my only Tom Ford sense until like this right here. I was out a couple weeks ago and I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna buy a bunch of Tom Ford shit. And so I did. I'll start with this. And isn't that weird? Look how much has already gone out of that. My husband's been wearing it. This is uh, Neroli Portofino Aqua. Now, I feel like I wish I didn't get it because it's the Aqua version. And I feel like Tom Ford fragrances are like not even substantial enough when they're not like an aqua sort of, you know, eau de toilette kind of intensity. Mm. Oh yeah, I can see why Travis likes this. That's my husband's name, Travis. Uh, this is definitely smells like something he would like because it's um, clean, it's fresh. He likes a lot of Hermes fragrances um, and you know how they always have like a sophisticated kind of um, fresh vibe about them? Um, yeah, so he's been wearing this. It smells really good. I liked it in the store, like I sprayed it in the store and then I put the strip like underneath my mask. So maybe they all also smelled like really strong that day in the store because I was like smelling them right up against my face. <laughs> um, but this is gorgeous. Like you can't smell this and think, you know, it's not a good fragrance. It smells beautiful. It's like uh, well appointed. I was watching a video, I think by Clemence and CC and she had said that I think she was talking about going to Harrods one day and buying like Neroli Portofino. And then like the day after, woo. Oh, but then what is that little spritzy? It's almost like Sprite, the pop Sprite, but not as um, sugary or sweet as that. But there's like this blitz of a sprightliness. She was talking about going to Harrods and buying some Tom Ford fragrance. And I think she bought Neroli Portofino. And then the next day I was like out and I saw Neroli Portofino Aqua. And it was for a good price from that, uh, store that uh, the Estee Lauder sort of uh, outlet store. It doesn't last very long. It smells really good. It smells clean. It smells sophisticated, sexy. There's a sexiness to it for sure. Um, my husband really loves it. Uh, for me, yeah, I would like to smell like this and I would smell like this. My only thing is like, I drown myself in this thing and like, I can't smell it feels like soon after. I have heard a lot of people say they don't even buy Tom Ford fragrances because of the price and because of the lasting power. My experience with them up until now was like Lost Cherry, which on me really does last. And then um, with the fucking fabulous, well, it's a body spray. So, you know, it doesn't have like a huge concentration of oil or whatever. And then I had Noir, the Eau de Parfum and yeah, neither of those two really did much. And then the next thing I smelled was this, Neroli Portofino Aqua, which, yeah, smells delicious. It's amazing, um, but it doesn't really last. What happened next was, this really blew my mind. This truly blew my mind, this fragrance, Tom Ford White Patchouli. So I had recently seen um, Aaron Terrence Hughes, who I am totally obsessed with. I need to get some of his fragrances. And he's also like so cute and like his hands and just the way he is, I like his personality. Oh my God, wow. Wow, this is incredible. So White Patchouli by Tom Ford is, oh my gosh, I don't know what, there is a fruitiness to this patchouli. A floral, bright, white, clean, fruitiness like I don't know how like you definitely get patchouli out of this but it's not like basically coming up next to have patchouli absolute which is your totally other end of the spectrum of patchouli but this fragrance is to me so special I have such an emotional response to Tom Ford white patchouli like I just want to like be enveloped in it and it is enveloping now I didn't find that this lasts terribly long but can't believe I'm gonna say this. I honestly don't care. 
the smell of this fragrance is so gorgeous, so beautiful, that I would deal with the poor longevity. It's just, I hadn't smelled anything that smells like this really, and I love the way that it smells. I'm just pulling up the notes here and I totally get it. White flowers, coriander, peony. This is all making perfect sense to me. That's why this smells the way it smells. This is why you're getting this experience. And it's the patchouli and incense is in the base. So you do have all of this white, fresh, like green, spring, summer, like at the top. It's really like bright and like it's up here. You know what I mean? I almost think this is like a masterpiece. If it lasted a bit longer, mm. Yeah, I need to always have this in my collection. I love the way this smells. And so, okay, once we get to the white patchouli, we're coming around a little bit. Patchouli absolute was a little more expected um, because like white patchouli really like does a twist on patchouli. This is your kind of, like what it says, like a patchouli absolute. It's like, seems like a very true um, representation of a pretty classic take on patchouli, but there's still some like uh, sophisticated elements to it. There's leather in here, there's rosemary, there's moss, bay leaf. Uh, but what this patchouli turns into, for me at some point, it's really weird, but the patchouli note in here actually becomes watery. And yeah, and very, um, if white patchouli is kind of like uh, sprightly, the, the patchouli and patchouli absolute, it becomes watery for me at a certain point and almost like, um, like fluid in, um, like it's running over rocks or something, if that makes sense, like patchouli running over river rocks. It's still brown. It still smells like a brown patchouli, which patchouli is green, but <laughs> gosh, what am I talking about? Patchouli absolute is good. Uh, would I tell you to go get this? Actually, no, not yet. So right now, all I'm saying is you must get white patchouli. That's as far as we're at. But then I feel like the whole world opened up. So this has been something I've wanted from Tom Ford for a while. I'm obsessed with lavender. It's called Lavender Extreme. Here it is. Y'all, I paid full price for this, okay? This was $435, but I'm telling you, it does not disappoint. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is like a super duper superhero, superman, superwoman, wonder woman kind of like lavender extreme. It's so beautiful. It's so true to the name. Like you get this bomb of lavender, like straight off the gate, like first spritz and it's just like, lavender and it it sort of blooms like it blossoms and it, it 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 radiates from you when you're wearing it it smells so gorgeous i think some people though might like might freak them out like when i smelt it in store i was like wow this really truly is extreme it's so definitive that it's really impressive and it's a joy to wear like if you love lavender this is something that is really like lifts the spirits, really picks you up. You know, it, it takes you there. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this fragrance. I love it. Violet, lavender, geranium, rose, cinnamon, tonka bean. I know there's a fragrance out there that's similar to this in some ways, and it's um, by Caron. Um, I forget what it's called, but it maybe it's just called Caron Pour Homme. Um, I got that after I got this um, because you know, if you read in the reviews and stuff on Fragrantica, they're often compared to each other and there is something similar about them in a way. But the Kiran Pour Homme goes like to this very like, for me, like a cedary place after the lavender and it doesn't have the presence that the lavender, that lavender, it doesn't, it doesn't have the presence Lavender Extreme has of the lavender. It's just, it's similar. And if you couldn't have this and you wanted a similar experience, then yeah, you should definitely get the Caron Pour Homme, absolutely 100%. But it goes, uh, once the lavender kind of settles in, it goes to, for me, a place that was kind of like, almost like wearing like a, being in a sauna, like a real cedary kind of like sauna experience. It was warm. This is cool. Like 
this it feels like it's like even cooling on your skin like it's got like a cooling um property about it it's just this is so well done and i mean of course like not everybody's gonna go out and get this but i am so happy i got it because this is very special and this is kind of the thing that is makes fragrances so exciting when something can just be so special so tom ford you have won me over with lavender extreme this has staying power this has presence it's just so expertly crafted and if you love lavender the way i do like you will lose your mind over this it's that good back on my bullshit back on my bullshit back on my travel spray bullshit yeah so i got a few more travel sprays because you know what why not I can't buy, try every fragrance for $500 a piece. What's cool about Rose Prix is it's got Sichuan pepper, turmeric, three kinds of rose, and then patchouli and tonka bean. I don't know about the lasting power of it because I haven't really like worn it as like a fragrance. I've just like kind of sampled it and kind of kept moving, but yeah, this is great. I think for me, it was perfect to get this. I mean, this is still a hundred bucks. Um, but it's gonna last me. Now the last two Tom Fords here. This is Black Orchid, which actually I've never smelled before. I like it. I really like it. I really like it. You know, I used to have Lady Million Privé, which people have compared to this before, and I can see the comparison, but what I have always heard about Black Orchid is that it was really heavy. But that's not what I'm experiencing here. I'm experiencing like a very fruity, um, like light fruity like maybe the the tone like the the fruit smells like it's a dark color but the tone the timber of it um you know if it had um a voice the voice would be not like a kathleen turner style you know a sexy woman voice like that no, if it had a voice, I think it would be like a very clear, gorgeous, beautiful voice. So I don't think Black Orchid is dark. I think it's fruity. I think it's fresh. I think there's a lot of stuff that's happening kind of like up here that makes it... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think of it as a light perfume, which is kind of weird because I've never heard anybody refer to it that way, but for me, Black Orchid isn't dark, it's light. Yeah, there's a lot of notes in this, and some of them appear in the uh, top and also in the base. Yeah, this is a really, really wonderful, wonderful fragrance. I honestly had no experience with it before like buying this little um, spray, and I think this is gonna last me for a while. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy to have it. I actually really like it. Um, and I was sort of like, you know, sometimes like you're not there for like when a fragrance kind of takes off and then you can easily just like let it pass you by because you just weren't there for it. It didn't, you weren't part of the whole kind of like experience. So I wasn't really ever intending on buying it. The only reason I got it is because it came in a set with these two and I got it from that cosmetics company store and it was really affordable. Like I think these two travel sprays together, I paid $40. So it was like Black Orchid and then this one, which is like a total winner for me and a true surprise just because I had no idea of what it smelled like or I had no, um, didn't know any of the, the history of it or any sort of like hype about it. So this is Ombre Leather. Wow, to me, this is like a very, very sexy leather fragrance. Oh, it's like, yeah, so, okay. So now we're like, there are, I think, some Tom Ford fragrances which might feel like um, cop-outs or like he's like kind of messing with you. You know, like Kanye West kind of does. Like, um, like I like weird looking clothes, but you know, Kanye West is like making shoes these days that look like, I don't know, like just like blocks of like foam. I still actually, now that saying that out loud makes me think that's still kind of cool. But I think you can sometimes get a sense from a Tom Ford fragrance when they don't work or when they don't deliver that you're kind of like that he's kind of fucking with you you know it's going to cost like 300 bucks minimum and for what but then there are these like really really bright spots these like moments of I would say like genius and masterpiece where something like really delivers and it really happens so from what I have tried in my short like um 
experience with Tom Ford fragrances. Uh, Ombre Leather definitely delivers on that. Uh, I think Lost Cherry delivers on that. Lavender Extreme delivers on that for sure. And Black Orchid. Yeah, Ombre Leather is so hot. It is such a good fragrance. All this list is Cardamom, Leather, Jasmine Sombach, Amber, Moss, and Patchouli. I don't know what's giving it like the levity because I do feel like similar to Black Orchid that there is a lightness about this dark leather. Um, really, really sexy. For me, a real surprise. So happy to have it. And that's Ombre Leather, Tom Ford. You better work. So yeah, that's it for the Tom Ford thing. P.S. I think it took me like two hours to shoot this video. I have been all over the place mentally, emotionally, and you know, I'm going through a bunch of like changes right now and I'm just, I don't know. I posted a new video like last night and I got such a warm response from it that I just really wanted to thank you all. Uh, people who watched it, commented on it, even a couple people that I watch their videos all the time stumbled upon my video thanks to Joss Jane. So Joss, I just want to thank you so much for sharing my video. That means a lot. Totally unnecessary. Truly just an act of kindness. I mean, you don't have to do that. Uh, so yeah, that really made my night last night and um, it is kind of like a strange and uh, interesting time for me. I mean, everything's good, I'm all good, but yeah, nonetheless, it's a strange time in my life. And yeah, I'm just happy that this is going on and I feel, yeah, motivated and pleased. You know, if you made it this far, you're a real one and you know that what you think, I think I love you, what you feel, nah. I feel I need you, what you know, I, 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 to be real, it's got to be real. Thanks for watching.